Hi guys, so a recent request that I got was to um, make a tutorial on the uh, the ricochet system that I had set up in my old unfinished game called Ninja Ball. So yeah, that's what we're going to be covering this tutorial. Um, it's just going to need uh, very basic knowledge of um, raycasting and uh, and a little bit of trig. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so this is the starting file, which you can download from a uh, link in the description. Um, it's basically just got a little cube that will follow your cursor around, and uh, it shoots out a little shuriken um, in the direction that you press. So, basically there's just two scripts here. Um, a player script, which you don't need to worry about at all. This just moves the player around, and when you press left mouse button, it uh, instantiates a shuriken at your rotation. Um, and then the shuriken class, which we're going to be working in, at the moment just moves its shuriken forward and it rotates the shuriken around. So um, we're going to be adding in now all the uh, all the code to make it bounce off surfaces. So um, we're going to be using raycasting to do this. And uh, we're also going to be using a method called vector3.reflect. Okay, and as you can see, this takes in a direction and a normal. So before we get into any coding, I just want to explain what those two things are. So a normal can be understood quite simply as just the direction that each surface is facing in. So if I turn on the display of normals here, you can quite easily see how it works. So now the direction... Um, so say we had a direction that looks something like this, say it was 1, 3, and then there'd also be a Z coordinate, but we're going to ignore that for now. So something like that, now let's say, let's draw a little graph here. Um, so this is the X and this is the Y, so basically that's saying that for every 1 in the x, it's going 1, 2, 3 along the y. So we'd have a direction that looked something like that. So say that we had our shuriken going like this, and then we used the vector3.reflect method and gave out this direction, 1, 3. Now we want to work out how must the shuriken, shuriken be rotated to be facing in this direction. So what we want to work out is this angle over here. And uh, that's quite simple to find using trigonometry because we know the uh, the length of this side over here because that is 3. And over here, this is, of course, 1. So all we need to do is use the arctangent function to get this angle here. So you can say the arctangent of the opposite, which is 3, over the adjacent, which is 1, so arctangent of 3 over 1, will give us this angle here in radians. And radians are just a, another way of measuring angles, and there's a simple conversion we can do to turn this into degrees. So let's go into monodevelop and uh, code this. Okay, so let's set up our raycast variables. So first we're going to need a ray. Uh, we can just call it ray and um, arrays need an origin point and a direction. So for the origin, we're just going to say the transform.position. And for the direction, well, we just want the forwards direction of our shuriken, so transform.forward. And we're also going to want some information about the, um, about the object that we've collided with, namely its normal. So we'll need a raycast hit, and we can just call that hit. And now we can just say if physics.raycast. And we can pass in our ray and our hit variable. And now we want to give it a distance. And for that, we can just pass in the amount that it's moved, which as you can see here in the um, translate method is just time.delta time multiplied by speed. So we can just put that there as the length of the ray. And we might want to add in a little bit, like 0.05, um, just to stop it from ever going through something accidentally. 
could even increase that a bit if you wanted, if it's um, whatever goes through an object. And now we also want our collision mask, just so that we can specify what it must bounce off and what it mustn't. Okay, that looks good. And now inside of here, well, first we're going to have a um, a vector three, and this is just going to be the direction. We can just call this reflect direction, and this is going to be equal to vector three dot reflect. And as we saw earlier, this takes in a direction, which will just be transformed up forward. And we've all, we can just call ray dot direction if we want, because we've already set that to that. And it also wants the um, surface normal, so we can get hit dot normal. Okay, so now we know the out direction. Um, we just need to figure out the angle at which the player must be to be facing in that direction. So let's create a float, and we can just call this rot. Um, and this is going to be equal to mathf.arctangent, as we discussed, and that's just a tan 2. And now um, we want to give it a y and an x. So for the y, we're actually going to do reflect direction dot z, because if you think about it, we're going from the top down and this y direction is actually the z direction because y here is is up. Um, so in this case, z is going to be our y, and for the x, that's just reflect direction dot x. And now, um, as I said, this is going to be in uh, in radians, not in degrees. So we want to multiply this by 180 divided by pi, or it's just got that value stored for us nicely in mathf dot radians to degrees. And now there's one more thing um, of concern, which is just that, um, let me open this up. In, uh, in maths, usually if we've got a circle, this is 0 degrees over here, this is 90, 180, 270, and back to 0, or 360. Um, but in Unity, as you can see, this has got a rotation of 0, and yet it's facing in this direction, not in this direction as we'd think. So you can see that it is offset by 90 degrees. So all that we have to do is we have to take this into consideration and add in that 90 degree offset. So we can just say 90 minus, and then we've got all of this. So that is the Y rotation of our shuriken. So here we can just set um, transform dot Euler angles. And this must be equal to a new vector three. And for X rotation, we can just have zero. Our Y is the rot and Z can be zero as well. So now, if we go into Unity, let's see if this is working. And it is, yay. You can see things are just bouncing around merrily. So that's everything. Thanks for watching. If you have a uh, question or some feedback to give, just leave a comment. That would be appreciated. And uh, yeah, cheers.